Welcome to Hypercar Global, the channel where we talk about Elon Musk, Tesla and electric vehicles. Let's get into the video. Tesla taps another Canadian startup for battery developments, for $3. Tesla has once again tapped another Canadian battery startup in efforts to develop and manufacture high-quality, dependable, and long-lasting electric vehicle batteries. Documents of the transaction suggest Tesla acquired three separate patent applications from Canada's Spring Power International for only $3. Tesla reportedly purchased several patent applications from Spring Power International, a small, Canadian company that was established in 2010. The company's website has gone nearly blank after the reports, only giving information to those who inquire through Spring Power's email. Interestingly, Tesla purchased the patents just two weeks before the Battery Day event that was held in September 2020, TechCrunch reports. The site found the patent transaction records, which show that Tesla purchased several applications for a total of $3. The document states, therefore, for $3 in good and valuable consideration, the receipt and sufficiency of which is hereby acknowledged, the parties agree as follows. The preceding words outline the transfer of patents from Spring Power International Incorporated to Tesla Incorporated. The three patents that were transferred to Tesla are innovative process to produce cathode materials for rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, US 62-899,677, process for recovering materials from spent rechargeable lithium batteries, US 62-951,735, and method to produce cathode materials for Li-ion batteries, US 62-652,516. The patents are similar to the processes CEO Elon Musk and senior VP of engineering Drew Bellino outlined during the Battery Day event and could translate to Tesla's future methods for battery manufacturing. Tesla unveiled the new 4680 battery cell at Battery Day. Tesla plans to make the cell in-house but it will also be produced by several of the automaker suppliers, like LG Chem and Panasonic. The new cells offer exponentially more energy, six times the power, and more range as Tesla attempts to expand its production efforts to help EVs reach price parity with gas-powered cars. Additionally, it seems that several Spring Power employees have also transitioned to roles with Tesla. One is Yang Lu, a senior research engineer for Tesla, who previously worked for Spring Power as a research and development chemist. He made the switch to Tesla in September when the Battery Day event took place. Amrit Pogan, a cell engineering technician at Tesla, also transitioned to the Silicon Valley-based electric car maker in September after previously working for Spring Power as a chemical technologist. Tesla has previously used Canadian battery companies to advance its lithium-ion cell technology. Tesla acquired Habar Systems, a company that was based in Ontario and produced battery cells. The acquisition of Habar by Tesla followed the automaker's purchase of Maxwell Technologies, a California-based producer of ultracapacitors and batteries, in May 2019. Tesla has also utilized the expertise of Jeff Don, a battery researcher at Canada's Dalhousie University, along with his cell research team at the institution. Don and Tesla recently extended their partnership in a five-year extension. Tesla is the largest consumer of lithium for app batteries. Tesla was the largest electric car manufacturer in 2020, which directly translates to the level of consumption of key elements for batteries, like lithium, especially that Tesla's F batteries are usually 50 to 100 kilowatt hours per pack. According to the latest report from Adamus Intelligence, in 2020 Tesla deployed 18,700 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, LCE, onto roads globally in the batteries of its newly sold passenger EVs. The company estimates that it's more than the next four brands, BYD, VW, Renault and Audi, combined. Compared to automotive groups, Tesla is ahead of Volkswagen Group and BYD combined. In 2020, Tesla deployed 18,700 tons of LCE onto roads globally in the batteries of its newly sold passenger EVs, more than the next four EV makers, BYD, VW, Renault and Audi, combined. At the group level, rather than make, Tesla consumed more lithium than the next two groups combined, namely Volkswagen and BYD, respectively. Tesla LCE usage, in EVs, by models. Model 3 67%. Model Y, 17%. Model SX, 16%.
by region it's Americas, 47%, Asia Pacific, 34%, Europe, 19%, elsewhere, less than 1%. In terms of lithium origins, by Q3 2020 Tesla was using batteries produced solely from lithium hydroxide, but since Q4 a noticeable part, Catal's LFP batteries, is from lithium carbonate. Those are the two most common lithium forms used in battery production. Through the first three quarters of 2020, 100% of Tesla's lithium consumption was in the form of lithium hydroxide. However, with the release of the Made in China Model 3 standard range powered by LFP cells from Catlin in the fourth quarter of 2020, this share dropped to 84%, according to Adamus Intelligence data. Tesla Energy Director believes Australia can become a large supplier of lithium. Tesla Energy Director Mark Twidel believes Australia is well positioned to become a large supplier of lithium as demand for electric cars and large energy storage units continues to rise. Mark Twidel stood in for Tesla Chairman Robin Dentelm at the South Start Entrepreneurs Conference in Adelaide recently. During the event, the Tesla executive said that Australia had a big opportunity in exporting lithium around the world. Australia has the raw materials in abundance like no other nation on earth, Twidel said at the conference. Lithium prices declined in 2020, partly due to the pandemic. At the beginning of 2021, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence stated that it expected the lithium market to come into tightness. But the speed of price increases in Q1 2021 was beyond expectation, with prices for lithium carbonate having nearly doubled in price since the beginning of the year, George Miller told the Investing News Network INN. Furthermore, shortages and sold-out order books in Q1 were a stark change from Q4 2020, where lithium chemicals were freely available to consumers at lower prices. As the automobile industry embraces battery electric vehicles, BEVs, and the energy industry starts incorporating sustainable solutions with large battery storage units, demand for lithium will continue to grow. Tesla's Twidal believes Australia has the opportunity to be at the forefront of exporting climate solutions. Let's actually increase the benefits to Australia, he said, adding that the lithium-ion battery value chain is forecasted to be $400 billion by 2030. During the TSLA first quarter earnings call, Elon Musk firmly stated the critical role lithium-ion batteries will play in solving the energy storage problem. There's no question in my mind whatsoever that the energy storage problem can be solved with lithium-ion batteries, zero. I want to be clear, zero. I think the bias will tend to be toward iron-based lithium-ion cells. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you are new please subscribe.